Oh, okay. Let's finally finish up this file that I've been working on for a while. No, not again. Not again. Is this you? Does this remind you of someone you may know? Have you ever opened up an old Clip Studio file and found that the video is now disconnected? Well, let me show you how to fix that problem and show you a couple other features that you can use to adjust your videos in Clip Studio Paint. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is get our video footage into our project. So let's go up to File, Import, and then Movie. And if you look at the documentation from the website, you can import three different file types. That's AVI, MP4, and then MOV. And for Apple, it's the same, just no AVI. That's the only difference. All right, so now that we have our video files inside of our project, we can start moving and manipulating them like a vector layer. Um, you can use them in the timeline, or you can also use them inside of a basic folder also. So you would slide it right into a basic folder, like any vector layer that you have, and you would do the same inside of an animation folder. And just like a vector layer, you would have to go into the animation timeline and set the cell that you want to display that video. As long as that video is on the timeline, that video will play. Okay, so by now you should have a good idea of what you wanna use your video footage for in your project. So what I want to talk about is one of the two tools that you'll use to manipulate your video footage. And that first tool is just the Move Layer tool. Now, there has been an update recently and this tool works much smoother than it used to. When we're animating, we're switching between drawing and then manipulating that video footage. And most of the time when you're moving around your drawings, you're either using the Transform Selection tool or you're using that move tool to move your stuff around. So now you don't have to switch back and forth, but the only drawback is you don't get access to a bunch of properties. Okay, so now let's try out the operation tool. So let's jump straight into the properties and you can see all of the options that you have. So let's say you had a video, you manipulated it, and you just wanna reset it to this original state. Just click on that and that'll reset your video. So you can also flip it horizontally, vertically. You can change the modes. These are the transform modes. And then you can also set the center rotation in here. And then if you want it to be super detailed and customized, you can go in here and just manipulate the uh, scale ratio. And these properties are pretty much basic when it comes to transforming a object. But let's move on to the more dynamic section of the properties when it comes to the operation tool. This is the bottom. All right, so go ahead and scroll up. And when we get up here to this section, we can see that we have a new area called status. Now this is dealing with manipulating this video footage and updating and changing it. So the first section is change file. So let's say you bring in a video footage and then you disconnect from it and you wanna update it with a different uh, video footage you can go ahead and go there. Then the next one is open file. So what this will do is just open your video and just play it. This next one is open the folder. So you don't know where it's at on your computer, just click that and it'll open the folder that the uh, video footage is in. The last option in the status section is the update file button. Now clicking this will automatically try to reset your video. Now most of the times, if the video file is still in the same section, it'll just get rid of the X and reconnect. Now, let's say you deleted it. You do the same thing. You deleted it, just restore it back to that section and you will hit that button. But this is also great if you have a video file or an animation that you've already been working on somewhere else and you're bringing it to a secondary project. If you update that video file somewhere else or in another project and you brought it in here, all you have to do is hit that update button. And what will happen is it will bring in the updated version of that video file. This is a really dynamic feature within the program and it's not something that's usually expected in something like a Clip Studio Paint. This is more of something you would think that would be in like a Premiere Pro or something like that. Let's finish this up by talking about selection modes. The first option that we get is new selections. This is one that we use all the time. 
You select one object, you manipulate it, you're done with that one, then you select another object. Never selecting multiple objects, it's always a new selection. The next mode is add to selection. Here you can select multiple objects at one time and then move and manipulate them all together. And as you would assume, the next mode is the remove from selection. Now, if you have multiple objects selected at one time, you can click on a object that you want to deselect and it will do that all the way down to the single selection. Now, the last mode is the toggle selection. This is like having add to selection and remove from selection on at the same time. Now, if you have multiple things selected at once, you can click on the ones you don't want and it will remove them from your selection. Now, let's say you want to manipulate that one thing. If you want to manipulate that one thing and come back, you can come back to it, turn the toggle selection back on, and then reselect all of those layers, and it'll reselect them as a group again. It's kind of a quicker way to use that add to selection and remove from selection without having to click them individually. And that was just a quick overview of how you can bring video files inside of your project in Clip Studio Paint and use them as reference or maybe add them to an animation you're already working on and what tools and properties can help you with that perfect shot. I hope you learned something from this. If so, share it with a friend. And as always, anime life forever. Okay, 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 we're done, we're done, we're done.